What's going on everybody? So in this video I'm going to show you what to do when your clock is not chiming on the dot. So let's take a look at this guy here. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down and I'll show you what I mean. So the clock should chime exactly when the hand hits 30. And you can see that it doesn't. It's actually closer to when it hits about 31. Yeah, it's not too bad. And uh, your clock could be worse. I've seen some go all the way to, you know, say two two minutes ahead before it actually chimes. Now, uh, fixing this is a pretty easy thing. It's something you can do at home. Uh, if you had a cuckoo clock, what you would do is uh, undo the center nut here after you hit the 30 and you hear it, you know, do its cuckoo. And you unscrew the center nut and let gravity sort of let the hand, you know, sort of sway back and forth and stop in the middle and you tighten it up and then run it up to the, uh, the top of the hour and uh, it should hit on the dot. Uh, for most grandfather clocks and wall clocks and even some mantel clocks, you can't do it that way. So what you want to do is take this center nut off. Now in some clocks it's going to be a little bit stiff and you just want to use some pliers. Here, just wiggle this guy off. Hand's a little bit bent. So let me come and show you. You can see here, this is the, this is the front of the hand that you'll see when you're staring at the clock on a daily basis. We'll turn it around and you see that little gold uh, it's almost like a washer, like a pressure nut and uh, there's just enough room on the other side to grab it with some needle nose, nose pliers. So fixing this is really simple. So grab your needle nose pliers. Now if this is a clock that you can't find a replacement hand for and uh, or it's really old and you want to get some pliers that are protected with some uh, some rubber tips on the end. I don't have any with me at the moment. But um, you'll just basically put the hour hand on your needle nose, like so. And just uh, pretend it's on the uh, a minute past the 15 and hold this real tight. And uh, it kind of just, it's done by pressure, it's not going to break, it just kind of push that up a little bit. Give me a second here. Okay, so I had to go turn off my uh, air conditioner. So now that we've adjusted it, I want to go ahead and Take it back on here. And let's go ahead and turn this to the 45. Let's pull the hour hand back a little bit here. Pull it to the 45 and let's see how close we got. Actually, I need to pull this hour hand back. It doesn't hit the, uh, I'm sorry, the minute hand. So it doesn't hit the hour hand. That's pretty close. Just a little bit. So let's go ahead and run that up to the hour. And it should have hit almost on the dot. Look at that. Say that's pretty darn close. So that's how you fix it. Uh, again, be careful that you don't accidentally snap your hand off when you're using those pliers. Tighten it up. And that's it. That's how you fix your clock when it's not striking on the dot. Now if you do happen to break this hand for some reason, you can usually go into Google and type in grandfather clock parts or clock parts and there's a couple really cool sites out there that sell these exact hands for, you know, five, six bucks and you can replace them. And it's, uh, it's good to, to learn how to adjust your, uh, your own clock as this is sort of a dying trade. So uh, anyway, that's how you fix your clock. And uh, if you get stuck or have any questions, then post below. Uh, until next time.